having to spend a lot of compute, this paper is going to offer some useful insight. Routing to the expert, efficient, reward guided ensemble of large language model. Let me break it down for you. Routing to the expert. So we're going to have different experts. We're going to do it by efficient, reward guided ensemble of large language models. If most of these things are new to you, you should take a slight page of what used to happen in the machine learning world. Most of the Kaggle competitions back in the day were won by ensembling large language models. There are a lot of different ways people used to ensemble. One of the easiest ways is to get the score from four different models or five different models and use a common technique like majority voting and then you get the response back and then you finally show it. And this is one of the easiest ways people used to win on Kaggle back in the day. And this technique is almost similar to that. At this point, I'm also obligated to let you know that this is not as same as mixture of experts. With mixture of experts or shortly known as MOE, we are going to route every single token into one of the experts using some gating. That is not exactly a domain expert yet. We all hope that mixture of experts would evolve into something like this. But here we actually talk about an expert in a particular domain. And that is exactly this paper is. So the paper says that the LLM that we have of the shelf LLM like Llama 2 or Wizard LLM. And this is an old paper. It's not a new paper. So off the shelf LLMs have heterogeneous expertise in a wide range of domains and tasks. So that combining them like an ensemble of these LLMs can achieve consistently better performance. The good thing here is that not just that it can achieve consistently better performance, you can also reduce the compute issue because Typically, when you want to combine these LLMs, one of the popular technique people use is something called a reward model rank ranking R M R. But instead of R M R reward model ranking, people are using here a different approach. That is what they're calling us a Zooter. Zooter is nothing but a new reward guided routing method, distilling the rewards on training queries to train a routing function. This can precisely distribute each query to an LLM with expertise about it. Instead of boring you with this abstract more, I'm going to quickly show you what happens there and we are going to see the architecture of it. Imagine you have a question that says a share ideas for adapting art masterpieces into interactive experiences for children. List five specific artworks and associated ideas. Now you can see that one, two, three, four, five, six, there are six LLMs. In this case, they are six experts. And what our Zooter does is our Zooter tells you where to route it. And that is where this gets routed. So for example, in this question, Zooter has said, okay, route it to open chat and it has gotten routed. And how does it happen? Before we see more theory, I would like to quickly show you the architecture of it. We have two independent systems uh, that is one is an RMR reward model ranking, which is quite computational heavy. The second one is we have a reward guided query routing, which is a lightweight. Now these two things work hand in hand. One very important attribute of this entire setup is this particular piece where you have got this cute little llama. Uh, that is really not a cute little llama in the real world. This is a ranker. This ranker is in this particular case of Zooter. It's a 76 a million parameter model. It's technically a Dberta model. So this model is trained from this particular setup that comes from RMR. Now, what is this particular setup? If you have got multiple LLMs, these LLMs generate responses. And based on these responses, a reward model is used to generate rewards. Now with that reward, you create something called tags. Uh, so tag based label enhancement happens, then reward distribution happens. And finally, knowledge distillation training happens. And the output of that knowledge distillation training is the Diverta model, the 76 million parameter model that we have got. Now that 76 million parameter model decides which LLM should answer this particular query because that is what it is trained for.
Now that LLM ideally is supposed to give better accuracy for this particular query because it matches that LLM's performance based on its previous training data. So query routing is happening here with the small little cute ranker and reward model training is happening here and Zooter training is happening here. So Zooter is the system of creating this particular ranker that a router I can say that will route the query from input to one of these off the shelf models. Unlike RMR, this is not computationally heavy. Why? You might have guessed it at this point. RMR takes every single response and sends it to all the LLMs, get the response back and uses a reward model to decide which LLM's response is better. But unlike RMR, we are not going to use the reward model directly. Rather, we are going to use the scores of that and create a new objective function. And we have trained another model. And that model is the new router that we have got, which ideally explains where this query should go. And hence, only one inference, like only one LLM is activated at inference, thereby reducing the computational overhead massively. So if you see this particular setup, this setup is nothing but a bunch of LLMs. Wizard Coder, Wizard LM, Wizard Math, Llama2 Chat, Open Chat, Vicuna. And these models have got, let's say, one of the best values. This is like the best model average. For example, in Alpaca Evil, you can see Llama2 Chat is the average, best average. In Flask, you can see that 3.88 is average Llama2 Chat again. So we have got a bunch of benchmarks like Alpaca Evil, Flask, Empty Bench. And what we have seen here is the Zooter, the model that we are discussing about is I'm sorry, 86 million parameter model. I was saying 76. The 86 million parameter model, the D beta model is the ranker here. And this model with the same 13 billion parameter model stacked all these things together, but routed only by a new tiny little model does consistently better than all the other models combined together. The best of the average. It is not the most a highly accurate solution. That's something that you need to keep in mind. It's not the highly ranked solution. You can still see the RMR based solutions, reward model ranking based solution with its own router consistently doing better than our model, the Zooter. And in fact, proprietary models like GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 doing better. But the point here is that the most important thing here is that this is something that you don't control. This is something that is computationally very expensive. So with lesser amount of compute that you can probably run it on a simple GPU, consumer grade GPU, with coupling it with the router, then you have got a really good solid model, which is what the Zooter setup says. Zooter is not without any issue, but ideally Zooter shows that there is a potential for it to grow. And like I said, the router based model is nothing but a MD beta V3 base that is what is trained and they have used Quinn RM as the reward model in this setup that we can see here. So this is Quinn RM and this is based on the rebeta model. Now what ideally is happening here is that do Zooter is a data efficient and a low resource method as the training set only contains queries without annotations of responses. However, the queries in the training set are expected to be diverse. So what they have managed to do is they have taken open data set that is available and from that they have created a bunch of tags and from each tag they have generated what they are describing it as div instruct or whatever that is. And from that they have trained that router model or the ranker model, the dbeta model. Now then they have used GPT-4 as judge and then they have evaluated all these things. I think overall this paper offers a very interesting and intuitive future where you can have domain experts under different arms instead of having the current mixture of expert setup. I'm not sure why this paper did not take off much. It could possibly be because by this time we have already moved on from this models and then we started exploring MOE mixture of experts, but I still found it quite fascinating and interesting to see that people are exploring domain expert based LLM or experts. And I think this paper offers some interesting insights if you want to check it out. 
let me know in the comment section what do you think about this thing a lot of people have already said that if there is a future where we have got an AGI, AGI is not going to be a single model rather it could be a system of experts working together in tandem for a common goal so see you in another video happy prompting